Welcome to G-Reviews, and this is Xfinity 10G Network Explained. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Gross. I'm sure you all have been seeing the advertisements from Xfinity about their new 10G network all over the internet and the commercials. Well, it's true. For years now, Xfinity has been working on a faster than 5G network and they're calling it 10G. Now remember, currently this is just a marketing transition, marketing the new 10G brand from Xfinity. Of course, our current routers won't be able to handle the 10G, at least not wirelessly. If you go to their website, prices haven't changed nor speed options haven't updated since last summer. They're just going hard on this 10G network branding. What I think is that Xfinity has the technology to wiredly send up 10G signal, which is 10 gigabits per second to our homes with just a flick of a switch. I made a video back in 2020 with then the latest router from Xfinity, the XB7, where when I got in the router and subscribed to faster speeds, they still had to send a tech to activate uh, those new speeds from outside the community facility box. It was then when I was able to get the speeds that I was paying for. I think they'll eventually unlock the 10G signal to pass through our wired connections. However, our current routers, which is the latest router from Xfinity, the XB8, has the highest speeds that it can go is 2.5 gigs. And that's if you connect the ethernet cable to the one ethernet port on the bottom right. I did not look at other third party routers um, and what they're currently doing, but Xfinity's fastest router is the XB8. See the links of the description below of that video. What I do know is the pricing plan for my area hasn't changed. However, some other er local areas have additional pricing choices that offer faster speeds than 1200 megabits per second just not 10 gigabits per second just yet. If you have an XB8 and looking for a great quality 3D printed holster for your modem that will help place the modem in a more ideal location for better signal or just help organize the look, please reach out to my friend Alex with the link in the description below. Their website has a variety of mounts, brackets, and holster for a variety of devices to help organize your home. And it's 3D printed fit for your particular device. Shout out to Alex from Layer by Layer Design for sending me this sample of the XB8 wall mount to review. With the new marketing on this 10G network, they are showcasing this new router slightly different from the XB8. During the making of this video, it doesn't have a name, so we'll just call it the 10G router. It has a more rounded form factor and it has a built-in battery. The purpose of the built-in battery is for when the power goes out or something happened in the lines of, um, let's say someone ran into the pole, causing the pole to collapse, you would still have a continuous connection to the 10G network. It would connect to whatever LTE connection available in your current area. Of course, it won't be as fast as 10G speed, but at least while most don't have power, you'll be able to have speeds up to the current, which is right now 5G speeds. My question is, do you guys think the new router from Xfinity, what we're calling the 10G router, is capable of giving 10 gigabit speeds wirelessly? It for sure would help if you have one of those super smart homes where the whole home is smart with high definition quality video cameras and especially when it comes to low lag for gamers. Well, that's it for now guys. Please hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment as we reply to the comments as soon as possible. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get up to date and notifications of our giveaway that's coming soon. We will be giving away two Wise OG cameras and two memory cards for it. So stay, stay tuned for that. And until next time, peace.